Where I want you to go today, and you might already be there, is I want you to go to classwork, and you're gonna go to week two graffiti art. Go ahead and find this, or if you're already here, just give us a thumbs up, and I know you're ready to begin. All right. So it's kind of hard to see, but right down here is um, a link to defont.com. This is going to give you some different fonts that you can look at. Before you start um, searching this amazing website for different fonts, I want to give you a tip, okay? So you can see all these like really cool fonts. Some of them look uh, really hard. Some of them look um, just insane and crazy. And some of them you can't even read. But they, they're all these different names you can change that to actually say your name. So for instance, my first name is Joseph. So I'm gonna type in Joseph, J-O-S-E-P-H. You wanna put it on size large, submit. And then you can actually see what that font would look like in your name. So I'm gonna give you just a few moments to check out all of these graffiti fonts. There are so many fonts. There are over 30 pages now um, of different fonts that you can use. Some of them are wackadoodle. Give us a thumbs up once you're ready. And I really like this font right here. This one is called Crash with a K. What you're gonna do, and if you want to save this, this is really important, you're gonna put it on size large. You can zoom in. You have two choices to keep this forever. You can press Control, and then the six button on the top. My computer is different, but when you do Control and then the six button at the top, it will take a screenshot of your image. So. Control, six button on the top row. Or you can do what I do, and I just go to the three dots, dot, dot, dot. You're going to go to bookmarks, bookmark this tab. What that will do is it will add a little tab up here on this top row that you can go to. And that way you can click it, and you'll always have it. So go ahead and take a photo, whatever you need to do, so that you can have this next time. Otherwise, you're going to forget. All right, so now I want you to start drawing. Here is where most fifth graders get stuck and they have to start over. And I really don't have that many pieces of paper, so I'm hoping that you can just slow down. First, you wanna count how many letters you have in your name. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my name, I have six. What I would do first, play a game of Hangman. And I'm gonna do six, lines one two three four five oh no i've ran out of room so that tells me my letters need to be a little bit smaller than what i thought it was going to be so let's do one two three four five six i went a little bit darker so i could see that line this is how big my letters will need to be in order for it to fit off the page and then you're not having to have that awkward moment where it's like going off the page. People have noticed that you can actually see your letters through the screen if you wanted to trace. I think that you guys are better than just tracing. But if for some reason you really need to trace, it's there as well. The problem is, is just that the screen is going to move a little bit around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and freehand this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, once you have a sketch that you like, now it's time to start refining it. These little lines down here, you don't need them anymore. These is kind of like the training wheels, and now the training wheels are coming off. Oftentimes, graffiti is done on a brick wall, so maybe I could do like a sidewalk down here. Of course, you don't have to do anything that I do. If you have your own idea for where your name could be, maybe it's floating in the air. Maybe I can even draw some like paint dripping down. I could draw a spray paint bottle. Some people get confused with the pattern of a brick wall. What I do, and this is up to you, I just do two lines, one in the middle. Two lines, that one's underneath the letter, one in the middle. Two lines, one in the middle. Two lines, one in the middle. I'm going to go in with a permanent Sharpie and make this a little bit more permanent so that we can add some color to it next time. I'm just you know, going back and really getting those details just right. Um, but also, here's one tip, is if you want things to look 3D like this one, it kind of looks like it's coming right at you, coming off the page. Um, my trick to doing that was I used a thicker marker on one side, and that gives the illusion of shadow. So this is called line quality. It's when you use different thicknesses of line. Um, 
to get a successful image. Have a great day.